And moving to politics, it's 99 days now until Israelis vote again in a national election. And according to polls, the existing party most likely to gain the most new seats is the far-right religious Zionist list. Now, it won six seats in the last election, and surveys show it could double that up to 12 seats in the next one. Now, one way the party is looking to increase its parliamentary strength is appealing to Anglo-Israelis who immigrated here from English-speaking countries. Leading that campaign is religious Zionist MK Simcha Rothman, the child of U.S. immigrants. Here's a part of a video released today aimed at boosting the party's Anglo membership. No one likes Israeli bureaucracy. According to the World Bank, Israel ranks in the 35th place in the ease of doing business. In Israel, you will spend 11 days for opening a new business, 234 hours paying business taxes, and 102 days to connect your business to electricity. So you might find the following surprising. And listening to the Tiena that it party is super easy, super simple, zero bureaucracy. And joining us in studio is uh, Simcha Rothman of the Religious Zionist Party. Quite a slick little video there, Simcha. First of all, uh, I think there is an assumption that a fair number of your voters in the Religious Zionist are Anglo-Israelis. They're certainly well represented in, for example, what we call the settlement community in Israel. Who are you aiming for to boost that? There is talk that perhaps the voters that voted for Naftali Bennett's Yamina party, for example. Yeah, a lot of uh, the, the Anglo community in Israel is uh, complicated. You have uh, from different countries, different ideas. You have secular, you have uh, Masoti, you have religious. It's not one block, but a lot of them found place because they're right wing economically and also right wing uh, when you talk about Judean Samaria issues. As you mentioned, many of the communities in Judean Samaria have a lot of Anglo English speaking speakers. So. <clears throat> They found themselves in Naftali Bennett. Naftali Bennett himself, partly Anglo, is coming from an Anglo family. So they found themselves, and they were, as they have to say, they felt betrayal, uh, betrayed by his actions, by the government that started uh, what he what he did, did um, in the past year and a half. And uh, they're looking for a new home. Uh, some of them were already voting to United States last time. Uh, I was in charge of the Anglo campaign last time. There were a lot of support in English-speaking communities, especially in Judea and Samaria, but not only. And, uh, and uh, this, uh, this video, um, it's not only to vote for us, it's join the party, choose your representative in the primaries elections. It's really not only vote for us, but be a part, take part, uh, enlist, and vote for anyone who f you feel representing you. Now, as I mentioned, the polls show that you could uh, even potentially double uh, your list in the Knesset, but there exactly. is a feeling right now, maybe the the biggest problem religious Zionists, the religious Zionism list face is, is internal, uh, especially relations between its uh, two leaders, Bechala Smotrich and Inmar Ben Gvir. I mean, is there a chance uh, that friction could hurt the party? Um, we, we ran together last time. I really hope we will succeed running this time together too, because I think this, um, a lot of, the, we get from a lot of people uh, the will, uh, uh, former voters, and as you said, new voters. You, they want us to be together, that they know it's a deal, it's a package deal, and, and they like what they saw in the last year. Um, so, so we want to keep and run together. There is negotiations, as negotiations, as political negotiations works, sometimes a more uh, friction, sometimes uh, um, there are challenges, but I'm sure that at the, end, at the end of the day, 45 days before election, we're now 99 days before election, 45 days before election, that's the time we need to introduce the list and enroll it, and I'm hoping the next month and a half will be used wisely uh, by Itamar ben -Gvir. Of course, we want to, uh, we want him to join us, and I hope it will work and we'll have an agreement. Now, as I said, I'm sure there is, and it's believed that you have strong support among some in the Anglo-Israeli community, but you, that community also numbers some of your harshest critics, people who say that especially those that come from the United States, Great Britain, liberal societies, that religious Zionism party, they accuse of being reactionary and racist. How do you answer that aspect of the Anglo community here? So, of course, as I said in the beginning, I don't think that all the people that come from English-speaking countries share the same views about uh, um, the state of Israel, about right and left, about uh, uh, religion and state issues. I don't think it's, a, it's, a, it's one a group, solidified group. But I do think that the majority of them came here because they do want a Jewish country. 
They, they lived in a very strong Jewish communities. They didn't run away from pogroms, Baruch Hashem. No one should ever come uh, uh, running from pogroms to Israel. But definitely, English speaking speakers come from wealthy countries. They came here because well, Israel... Pluralistic countries, perhaps, is more germane to the point but you're making. Also, and they came here because they wanted Jewish education, they wanted a Jewish country, and I think that the Religious Zionist Party is the only party, almost, that committed 100% to keep Israel a Jewish country. And, and uh, of course, there are disputes, there are challenges within the, within the communities, within the Religious Zionist uh, group, social groups themselves, but we are all unified in the idea that Israel should be and remain the Jewish homeland. And, and that's, uh, that's the fight for the generations to come.